Right. Why? How so? Huh? No, I mean, I think it's everyone's fault. You can't say why. Why you say why? It I think it's why? I think it's all of our fault. You might be right. Hey, what? You have to get in the thing. Million dollars sold in the house, man. Laws. <laughs> no, but like I said, if you don't like Canarsie, they're being Canarsie, man. This is a good, this is a good <laughs> topic, though. This is a good topic. He wants to know, what was your question? Well, here's, okay, so I, I'm Jewish, obviously, right? That's right. what this is about. Okay. Although I wear a kufiya sometimes also, so it doesn't really mean anything. But right now I'm wearing this. Can I get some more? Um, oh, wait, let me get a soda myself. Let me get a, a, a grape soda in honor of the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I live here. I live here. I really oh, you live here? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's a joke. You know that, like, they make a joke that black people like grape soda? Yeah. You heard that yeah, joke? Yeah, I heard that. That was in a movie before. It's actually good. Oh, you didn't know that? Like nah, that, that was in a movie. You were funny, dude. Harold Kumar, right? Now, he's, he's a Jewish that, that joke like, went over my head. He's not like the Jewish look, the one you think. He's this guy, just he go wherever he want to go, like, you know? I can tell. He That's can go good, with though. you, he can go with this guy, he can go Which with anyone, you know? Which is a lot of Jews, you know? So it's like, like that, that, bro. Yeah, like, I know. So. They're standoffish, right? Yeah, you do, you could, you, he's in a position, you do whatever he wants with yeah. literally. Because yeah. he moves like that, and he... He didn't have to like, you know, some well, like Jewish, like, not really, but that's, that's they wouldn't talk works, to you so if you're not you Jewish, you know what I mean? You have to pay. <laughs> yeah. Some Jewish, like, they don't talk to you or they don't like do business with you if you're not a Jewish, right? Yeah. Well, they'll do business with you, but they're not going to become friends with you. Mm -hmm. Here's an interesting example. First of all, do you know how many laws there are in Jewish law? There's like a certain number of commandments, a certain number of laws. How many do you think? Like in Islam, there's there's five, right? Yeah. Salah. Okay. So among the Jews, how many is there? I don't know. Six hundred and thirteen. Six hundred. Six hundred and thirteen. I memorized all six hundred and thirteen in Hebrew and taught them to a dozen other people. Six thirteen. And each of these six hundred and thirteen have like a hundred laws under them, a hundred sub laws. So here's an example. We're talking about like how Jews wouldn't like mingle really with people. So grape soda, a lot of Jews won't drink grape soda if it has real grapes. Mikshash yayin nesach. Because technically speaking, wine that is owned or made or poured by someone who is not Jewish, you can't drink it. It's forbidden to drink it. Because we assume that they are idolaters. It doesn't really apply these days where people, what, what's over? I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to jail, right? But, um, yeah, good, right? But the thing is, it doesn't apply so much these days, and they get but around it. But you still it. drink it, though, because it don't, don't apply to you, per se. Well, that's what he's saying. I'm a whole different kind of creature. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a right. rabbi in that community, too. So obviously, you know, I'm not uh, showing off that I'm following all the rules right now. Right, 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 right. So now it goes within the question that you was asking about Joe Biden. What was the question? He's over here ducking here. <laughs> But what was the question though? It was a good question. We love Joe Biden. We all love the Joe We all love the we all love the Joe Biden. Come over Joe here. Biden. Everybody tell us we all love the Joe Biden. We all love the Americas. Right. <laughs> to all the brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Are you Muslim? Yes. No shit. Where from? To Mashallah. I'm here. I'm from Kanasi. And you were were you oh, parents, saying where? Were your parents Muslim? No. You became Muslim? Yes. Wow, cool. Wow, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Yeah, we have three Muslims here. Yeah. So I took the reason why I took my shahada. This is what I do. This is my this is my rabbinic mission. To bring Muslims together. Oh wow. I didn't know that. See? Right. Wow. This is big, man. I appreciate this, no, for real, because I have three already, and I, it's like the more you, the more, the more knowledge, because I can well, give it to my family. Like, uh, my family, look, I'm basically like the black sheep in the family. Everybody's still. Your family is not black too. Huh? Yeah, everybody's black. 
This is a joke. You said the black sheep of the family? Yeah, that is a joke for white people, just so you understand. Right. Only white people would get that joke. I made it for well, you. Well, hold my head. I apologize. You, you know, know, you know the, first, the first... The first... Right, the first you know, <laughs> right, 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 right. You know the first one who called for the prayer, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, was black. Bilal ibn Rabah. You know that? No. Yeah, he was black. He was Ethiopian, right? Yeah, Ethiopian. Yeah. You know? Mm. He was the first call for the prayer. Allah so Akbar, Allah Akbar, Akbar, Bilal ibn Rabah. Bilal. 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 Yeah. It's crazy. Bilal yeah. sound like. Yeah. I would so, have to separate that from Ba'al. Yeah. The, well, the Ethiopians. You know what I'm talking about, right? Ba'al. He, ba loved, ba he, ba loved, he yeah. loved the yeah. Prophet Muhammad so much. So when the Prophet Muhammad passed away, he said, like, I'm not going to do this anymore. Mm. Well, yeah. really? Yeah. He left Islam when the Prophet no, passed away? No, he stood in Islam. But, you know, like, he's like. He was so sad, you know? Mm. Because he was, was he, he was not Muslim, but he became a Muslim, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was he sad about? Huh? When Muhammad died. Because yeah. Prophet Muhammad, he was like a messenger, like, you know, to spread the Islam, to talk to the people about Islam, you know? He was the last messenger. So like, no, Muhammad, yeah. yeah, he was the last messenger, yeah. Wait, no, hold on. Yeah. Second to last. Come second on, I'm right in front of you. I'm right in front of you. Oh, yeah. I'm right I don't know, here. I don't know what you guys I'm right think. here. So talk I'm to the me. last. This is interesting. Huh? I'm the most recent messenger. <laughs> oh, that's what you guys. Think. I'm the most recent messenger. <laughs> no man, I'm talking about like something else, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah we are talking about something. Else. No, how do you? Why? <laughs> really? Ashadu wa Ashadu wa Allah ilaha illallah wa Ashadu anna anna Rasulullah. Ashadu anna Muhammad Rabbi. Wow, wow, wow. It's possible that I'm a messenger wow. too. It's possible that you're a messenger and you're a messenger. Yeah. All messengers. Different level messenger. Yeah. Different generation. That's why we have to study. I'm See, studying, man. He was the last of his generation. He can't call for the prayer, you know? What's that? He can't call for the prayer. Who? The Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad. Could not call for the prayer. He can't call for the prayer, yeah. He can't do the azan. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know? Uh-huh. Yeah. So he, he didn't, so he didn't say it? What? He never said it? No, because he was the messenger. Yeah, but he didn't you say know? that I mm. that I but he didn't say like he's right. He's but he right. said he he's said right. that he's a messenger, he's right? right? He was like he's right. He's right. I watched the movie on that. Uh, he's wait, right. We what? all I had I don't get it. I don't get it neither. Explain it. Huh? Because he's the messenger. He said it. He said I'm the messenger. He so said if it. he's the messenger, why I look like saying it's like yeah, that's the, you have to explain it like that's you know question. to me. It's yeah. like you know, I'm yeah. the one, I'm the one, I'm the messenger. Yeah. He can't say that, like you know. He did say it. Huh? He, he did, did say, say it. it, but which like would you he's he, he, no. he, he said that he was he was the final This is a good question, right? This is a good question. Huh? He was honest about I mean look, you know, I don't really think that I'm Rasulullah, right? To be honest. I don't really think that's mostly a joke. I'm just not discounting it. I'm not saying no. I don't know. Muhammad knew that he was a messenger. Muhammad was confident and he said, I was making most of a joke, you know, mm -hmm. but also I'm not saying not. I don't but know. You, know. you know why? I could assume because I fully have Imam at the end of the day. So I would have, you have what? Imam faith. Yeah. You know, like, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. not fully, how you say that? Faith? Shahada? That's how you would say it? It's like, uh, what's a, what's say the it? word for faith? What's the yeah, word, what's for, the word for faith again? Faith is like... Uh, Iman, like, right? Uh, Iman. That's what you said. Uh, Iman. Right? It's like, uh, inside, like, you know, inside you, like, what you want Iman. Uh, Iman, right? Yeah. 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 So, at the end of the day, it's like, I would think why he's not saying it and why he would have other people saying this because... No, but I think he did say it. Muhammad did say he's he a prophet, right? He did say it. He I'm said, not sure. Because I'm still studying. This is why I love this is why I love that you gave me the Quran. You know, I'm By the way, you know what's interesting? No, the, because, the word you know, for Iman in Hebrew, you know what in, in Hebrew you say emuna. Emunah. Emuna, it's the exact same mm -hmm. word. Hebrew and Arabic are just two different ways to pronounce the same language. They come from the same language. Right. Imun emuna. It means the same thing. It's a belief. Right. And it comes from the same same prophet, Ibrahim. Ibrahim, Ibrahim the father of Ishaq and the father of Ismail, right? So uh, that's where the whole, he was the one who had faith. He was the one who, you know, God said, get up and go, move away, right? right. 
I'm from Haran, where I lived there. I actually moved there to where Abraham, Abraham was from. Haran, where is that? It's Haran? the border of Turkey and Syria. It's, uh, it's about an hour's drive from the capital of Daesh, ISIS. Back when Rocco was ISIS. Was crazy, man. Those was crazy. Right? <laughs> yeah. He know the story. That story, that's the whole he other thing. He knows better than this we do. What, he knows much better than we but do. But you know, this is what's causing the confusion. ISIS, right? What do you mean? Which confusion? ISIS. Man. Oh, regarding Islam. Regarding yeah, everything. Course. ISIS is in the middle. And a lot of people you know, you know, know the, You know the ISIS people were? I'm saying, I lived, I mean, I, I tried to get into Syria from three different countries. Yeah, all the soldiers loved it. <laughs> from Turkey, from Syria, from Turkey, from Jordan, and from Israel. In Jordan, I actually crossed into Syria. Um, so I, I know a little bit about these guys. The people in ISIS, they are the criminals of the entire Muslim world. In other words, it's not like local people. You know, al-Baghdadi, he's from Baghdad, of course. Right. Mm. But most of the people there who were, most of the killers and all that, they were from all over the world. They were from London, they were from Chechnya. They right. were from all, they were the worst humans that existed in all the Muslim communities all over the world who went there to say, to do this. Yes. Yes. That's, that's what it was. Yes. Most people don't know that. Most people don't know that at all. A lot of people don't know that. And this is what put us Muslims that's purified in predicaments. Yeah. This is where we would have to alleviate which brothers. We are brothers, you know? Which brother really saying that they're going by this and then you're well, not going to, you know? There, well, yeah. There is, <laughs> there is also practical stuff. Like, you know, the Israel thing is a real issue. You know, yeah, to people, crazy. It's, obviously it's a tremendous issue for anybody who's Palestinian. You don't have to be doing this, yeah. But even, forget about Palestinian, even like Arabs all over the world, or Muslims all over the world who aren't Palestinian, there's a sense of like, you know, a, a pride, a national pride. Like, you know, this is not cool, for, even for us ourselves if we're Muslim, you know, even if we're in a whole different country. I mean, like, we so, in the United States, this is what the confusion is. We in the United States, no, there's no unity. How you name the country United States and there's no unity? Yeah, there is no <laughs> Everybody unity. Everybody is in, like, in La La yeah, what the fuck? Anything could, anything, anything possible will happen right now, we, there's nothing, everybody's dead, a lot of people is gonna be dead if you don't know what to do. What kind of so unity do you think we need? Like, what, do you, what does unity look like? Like, unity is like, start off with colors. What, all right, red and blue, why we don't, What's, what's the difference? Why everybody's rocking different clothes? Why is there diversion, you know? Why is there different, you know? Even with Jewish, because Jewish community- Hold on one second, I gotta translate for white people. I, I know. Red and blue, he's, talk, he's talking about gangs, right? Not red and, fuck red you and blue. You don't mean colors, right? Because that's the United okay, States of yeah, 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 let's translate. I'm not talking about gangs, fuck gangs, you know? I'm talking about like real stuff, like even within gangs. It's the same still, exact thing. It's the same thing. Whether it's large, whether it's literally red and blue, whether it's Republicans and Democrats, or whether it's Bloods and Crips, it's the exact same concept. Exact same red and blue, just fly a color. Just fly we don't, we don't color. have to explain ourselves at all. <laughs> we don't have to agree. Just, this is our fucking color. Eat it. Yes. You know, humans are made for communicating well. Let me fix this. This is bit. our land, yeah, because this is our land and then. Just to hear how Putin talks is fucking amazing, man. How this movie's a badass, bro. This man is just telling you like how he could just do anything with Ukraine and how United States, if if there's ever a chance that there was a war, we're not gonna have a chance, basically. What he's telling them. Here's the thing though. The way our government is set up is such that see Putin of course, if you accidentally stepped on this show, he'd have you killed. Right? Like everyone knows that. Right. I'm saying he doesn't give a shit about it. So what he's doing for Russia is because right now he is Russia. So of course he wants to do what's good for Russia or whatever else, because that's him. Mm. But uh, he doesn't really give a shit about any human being at all. He's responsible for an unbelievable number of deaths in crazy ass ways. Wow. So our government is set up in a pretty fucked up way, which is that the people who run the show <laughs> are kind of, there's more of them and they're behind the scenes. There's more of them. Yeah, there's like a class. Yes. You know, there's more of a class, you know, and the truth is, they don't secret give a society. They don't, it's not that secret, because you don't, it's not that secret. No, no, it's rich people. I, I'll, I can tell you where to find it. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're generally speaking, rich people, it's really not secret. If you, these days, if you're powerful, you're going to also have money. So, it's a really fine.
Um, but it's but it, they don't even re, they don't even realize that they are missing out by us not being united. Yeah. In other words, because of all the conflict like between Israel and and Palestinians, and between Republicans and Democrats, I mean, people have bad experiences of attempting to communicate in good faith and it not working out. Everyone's been in relationships that broke up. Mm -hmm. You know, and therefore we're like, all right, listen, I better store my weapons away. Yeah, sure, we'll try to be peaceful, but let me just make sure I got my weapons, you know? And when in doubt, throw weapons instead, because ultimately it's just the fucking color. Right. Ultimately it's just us versus you. So f among the wealthy, they're not like more united than we are, they just happen to have more money. But they don't benefit from the disunity. They don't benefit as much as they think they do from the tremendous difference in standard of living between the rich and the poor in America. Right. They really, really don't. Uh, they would benefit by having a lot more to do with other people by making sure that average people don't really have to work just to stay alive. So how how can how can they start a foundation with starting with that? That's the thing. How we how convince them? Yeah, how are we gonna convince because that's that's a How do you convince the rich people? All right, so another topic. Man. Well, ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, we don't know for sure if we, you know, even Elon Musk, I think, I think it's going out there. Even Elon Musk. Move the, move the, oh, it's blown out anyway. The battery is going out. So, 